such a beautiful day. I'm about to ride uh, about 15 kilometers back home. Uh, I've just come here from work uh, and I've got 15 kilometers to go through the Olympic uh, Village, uh, down, the Lee River, uh, down the Lee Valley, through the Olympic Village, uh, and then through Victoria Park and along the canal back to my house. So I'm going to try and record the whole thing and see if my phone will last. So here we go. I'm getting hit by so many little bugs, but I've got my sunglasses on, I've got my mouth closed, so it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cross the Lee River now. It's a beautiful little bridge that takes us into, I guess, still part of Hackney Marshes. But uh, is that pretty? Yeah. So there's a bit of Hackney Marshes on this side of the Lee River as well. Uh, and this is a little dirt section, probably the only dirt section I actually. Have to find, so.
road leading up to sort of um, like bleachers, I guess you call them. Um, which I guess was used as part of the Olympics. Um, but anyway, here we go. And then we're over a bridge and into the Olympic Park. This is the cycling velodrome uh, they used in the, during the Olympics. I wonder if they'll have a race uh, electric unicycles there. Another road, this time over a freeway. Another bridge rather, over a freeway. You can see the Olympic uh, thing in the background, whatever that is. Boulevards here in the Olympic Park are just amazing. They're so wide and so smooth, and um, we're crossing the Lee River again now. Hang on, that's a nice view. This whole place was just made for unicycling.
That's like the only section I really have to go on the road. This area is called Fish Island near Hackneywick Station and it's uber trendy right now. Uh, and it's not that wheelchair accessible which is sort of annoying. Um, so I have to go back that way but I have to find somewhere to get down the footpath first. Or I could just jump. I didn't know about this pedestrian bypass uh, for ages. When I found it, it made me really happy. Victoria Park, which is an absolutely beautiful place to ride, They're really nice.
such a great place to ride. buzzing you probably keep hearing is uh, my wheel log speed alarm telling me that I've reached I think 29 kilometers an hour and the occasional beep telling me that that's my first speed alarm. I've got it limited to 29 uh, just so I don't get speed blind and end up doing 35 or 40.
this is the bottom of Victoria Park now where it rejoins the canal. I'm gonna ride along the canal, I normally wouldn't, but uh, we'll give it a go. I don't ride in the canal normally because it's so crazy busy. But it is kind of pretty. That was my friend Karina. And then maybe it will come up later. Ding ding. The gas is are such a beautiful, iconic landmark, it'll be a real shame if we get rid of them. I'm going to pop off the canal here and then take uh, a road to another park called Haggerson Park. It's down here is Broadway Market and at the end of that is London Fields. These cars totally ignoring the pedestrian crossing. I'm a pedestrian, right?
called the Woodland Walk and it's on the end of Haggerston Park. There's a BMX track just there, which is quite fun to ride unicycles on. But it's a nice, cool little area with lots of uh, squirrels and rats. And fun for a bit of EUC off-roading. Squirrels everywhere. That is it. That is my, well, 28 kilometers in one direction, but I did it in the other direction first. So that's a one hour uh, round trip after work. Beautiful.